Look at these little dudes zipping everywhere. Thousands of them. Look at the top of the bottle. Holy moly. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. So, as you may or may not know, I just started up the new 75-gallon reef tank. The rock and the sand were dry rock, dry sand, that I just rinsed really well and put into the system. However, I do have some marine pure spheres that have been down in the sump from the previous tank for a little over a year. So when it comes to the biodiversity in my tank, I do have some, but not a lot. So I gotta get it kick-started. Now, I've gone to a lot of frag swaps and events over the years, and I've always seen one guy in particular, and that is Mike from Mike's Fido. Com. I've never really had the chance to stop and talk to him because uh, usually I'm pretty busy. I'm running around, you know, there's corals everywhere and all I see is these crazy colorful things and I feel like I'm not going to have enough time to get them so I don't tend to stop and talk to people too often. But I was just at the Delaware Swap this past week and uh, I was with Fishy Snowman and Fishy Snowman actually has gotten some of the Fido and Pods from Mike. So he's like, you gotta meet this guy, you gotta come over here and talk to him. So I went over there, talked to Mike for quite a while, and boy did he educate me on what the product that he has. Now, the good thing is, is that he's very energetic when he talks about his product, and it's not just because he's trying to sell it to you, it's because he believes in it. He's, you know, he believes in his own product. So to me, that is a great thing right off the bat. So after talking to him for a while, and explaining to him, you know, the system that I have and how I started it up. There was a couple of items that he thought I should get that would help and benefit my tank. And after talking to him, I highly agree with him. So I did go home with three different bottles of stuff that we will go over. And I'm sure this will not be the last set of, um, you know, live trigger pods and the reef feast and things of that sort. So he does ship all throughout the US and I have talked to many people that actually have gotten from, from him and they're extremely pleased with it. He does have a full set of instructions and care guides with each one that you um, get from him. He does have a very nice website explaining what each thing is, how it benefits your tank, and you know just what to do with it. So I highly suggest you know you check out the description of this video click on the links and uh, go check out his site. It may be good for you, it may not, but since my tank is brand new and I don't have a lot of pods in there and critters and you know, I had to get some because the ocean has all this stuff. So to me, I decided that it was very important to go ahead and start this process. So one of the first things that I got from him was the live phytoplankton. I got just the standard live phytoplankton and it does come with uh, directions on it on how to add it to your tank. I highly recommend using um, the products that he has to the directions specified because like I said, this is his product. He knows it better than any of us. Now, the live phytoplankton, I believe on his website you can get any of these in different size bottles. Um, which is good because you know if you have a, a nano tank a smaller tank you may not need such a big bottle so let's go and talk about the live phytoplankton the live phytoplankton is good for clams copepods feather dusters you know filter feeders things of that nature and like like I just said before the water in the ocean is just completely filled with phytoplankton it's definitely very beneficial to your core your corals um, any filter feeding coral will love it and you know I can't do a review on this stuff immediately because it's the first time I've ever gotten any type of live phyto or pods to add to my system so I'll definitely be going over this down the road but like I said I know many of reefers that have used this stuff before and they seem to think it's very beneficial so I'm gonna go with what works for the guys that I know that's in the hobby so the phytoplankton is definitely a must for my system, I believe, from here on out. The next is the red trigger pods. 
Now the red trigger pods are good for a lot of reasons. It's great for um, picky eaters, you know, like gobies, wrasses, uh, some anemones, chalices can even eat this stuff. And it's and also a very good cleanup crew. It's, uh, I would think, this one of the smallest of my cleanup crew. So I got a bottle of that. And I also got a bottle of the Reef Feast. The Reef Feast is same, almost the same as the Trigger Pods. They are a little bit smaller. They're good for filter feeders, fishes get, fish again as well, corals, sand sifting inverts, and other picky eaters. And like I said, each of these bottles does come with directions. Most of the time when you get these bottles, you're going to just be pouring it directly into your tank right away. So I grabbed this little handy dandy flashlight to maybe show you guys a little bit of a better view of uh, what these bottles may contain for you. So this is the trigger pods. And like I said, the trigger pods are good for picky eaters, um, good for eating detritus. And, you know, with the Reef Feast and the trigger pods, a key to success with them also is to feed them the live phytoplankton. So the green phytoplankton is actually the pod's food. Besides, you know, the detritus and uneaten stuff, you got to give them the phytoplankton. It's going to help them, you know, live, help them hopefully breed and culture and just populate the tank like crazy. So, like I said, this is the first time I've been using this type of product and definitely not going to be the last. I will most likely just be getting it straight from Mike when I see him at the swaps. If I don't see him within a certain amount of time, I'm definitely going to be placing an order for it. Uh, I've been using it all week so far and the corals seem to like it. I could tell just, you know, I'm not doing anything different except for this and they seem like their feeding tentacles are out a little bit more. So how I added it to my system is one of the directions does say shut off all your flow. If you're adding it to your display tank, you know, you want to shut everything off. Best to do it at night. But for me, I added it directly to my sump. I have all these marine pure spheres. So I figured, you know what, let me give these guys a chance to go into these spheres and start doing their thing down in the refugium section. This is my refugium. I don't have any macroalgae in it yet. There's no need to because I have low nutrients. So I definitely got to keep up with feeding the pods, the phytoplankton. Every other day is what I'm going to be doing per the directions on his bottle. And, you know, so like if you've never done anything like this where you've added pods and you may have live rock and live sand that you got from an LFS or another hobbyist, and I'm sure they were filled with all different types of beneficial bacteria and copepods and, you know, these trigger pods and all different types of stuff, but my tank, I didn't have it. So, if, you know, if you have a system like mine that's fairly new with a lot of dry rock, dry sand, and you don't have a lot of this stuff, uh, definitely swing by his website. Again, it's mikesphyto.com. And check it out. Read through each product. And uh, you might find something that you've never heard of before. You might find something that you've been looking for. And... Uh, you know, give it a shot. What do you got to lose? It's not going to hurt your tank. You know, you don't, you know, like definitely read the directions. Go by his recommendations. There is a thing on his website where you can ask questions and he's very quick with his response time. And you never know, you might just see him at a local frag swap near you. If you do see him at a frag swap, go up to him. Tell him Billy Pipe said hi. But I'm sure if you're at that frag swap, I'll be there as well. I'm not sure how far he travels. You can almost kind of see here, I was trying to focus in on these critters. There was just thousands of them everywhere. Really, really good product, live product. I'm actually going to keep these empty bottles and you know, I have them rinsed out and I'm gonna keep them and bring them with me at the next swap so that I can get a refill. It's definitely, I, I might even just get a couple of extra bottles so that at nighttime, I can just dump it directly into the system, you know, kill the flow, kill the skimmer, lights are out, maybe an hour and a half after lights out in the tank, pour these bottles in there, let them pods go crazy. I do want to try out all the other products because uh, if, like, if you go on his website, it's got a lot of cool stuff. So again, definitely check out his website, uh, you know, tell him I said hi, 
He's a guy that believes in his product, so that is exciting to me. Anybody that backs their own product up and is the face of their product at an event, a swap, a show, whatever it may be, he's the guy that's going to be answering the emails, so that is awesome. So until next time, I, I will see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was informational and uh, maybe a little ed educational. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.